thank you. My brothers and sisters, I thank you. Happy Warrior Wednesday. Happy Warrior Wednesday. Welcome. Welcome to the time of the new moon. Oh, and the eclipse. The solar eclipse. What beautiful energies have been brought upon us. What beautiful energies we are if we're willing to be. Are you willing to be? I ask questions. I allow you to think. I allow you to feel. I allow you to be you, not who you think I want you to be or who you should have been for your parents or your teachers or your wife or your brother or your sister or your girlfriend or whoever. Aho shinawanahonata. Aho shinawanahe. Walking crow. And this is the transformational sacred drum medicine. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's blessed on this hump day. You know, we're on the down. We're getting. We're on the downside to the rest of the week. Uh, the uh, the birthing of a, a new country uh, is going to be celebrated tomorrow. Um, I don't particularly celebrate it because I don't care. Uh, I care about the rebirthing and the birthing of souls and the people who need the help and don't know how to find the help who doubt themselves, who live in self-doubt, who live in self-loathing, who live in self-hurt, who live in the pain and the shame and the um, wounds that they've carried around for a lifetime and they just don't know how. They can't do it with alcohol. They can't do it with pot. They can't do it with heroin. They can't do it with food. They can't do it with hoarding. They can't do it with buying. They can't do it by changing their face, by changing their clothes, by changing their relationships and they just don't know. Aho shinawana honata. Hey, and that's what I'm here for. And people like me, that's what we're here for. We're here to um, poke you and poke the bear with a stick. To get you to think, to get you to move. Not for us, but for yourself. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And I ask that in the spirit language by saying, Oi shino. Oi shino. Oi shino. So this week I'm in uh, New River. Yesterday, uh, I was in Sedona the day before I was in Sedona. It's been a hard couple of days because my health has not been well. You guys know that. And I found some information out uh, about my health. And uh, I had a healing yesterday by a magnificent healer named Cheryl Gentry, who's here in the New River area. And if you want to have an amazing healing, go see her or come see me or any one of a myriad of healers that you're aware of that can help you, that are willing to help you. Not help themselves by helping you, but willing to help you. Aho, Shino. Hey, so palsy, facial palsy, my palsy in my eye. Um, there are a lot of things that cause it, but the doctors actually don't know what causes it. So they were looking at some root causes, but I don't believe those to be it. I got my arm MRI uh, a week ago, um, Monday, and my MRI was clear. It showed that my, my brain was not firing correctly to the, to the nerves around the eye. So it's not really my eye. Now, what causes a palsy? They don't know. But what I did find out this week, what I did find out this week, and also that not knowing helped me to correct a problem that I created myself, and that was uh, uh, healing my diabetes and bringing my sugar blood sugars to normal because my blood sugars weren't normal. Um, sometimes when you're busy helping others, we get left behind. So that was a case of that. I was so busy working and helping others that I, uh, forgot, I didn't forget about myself. I just didn't make myself a priority. And all of you know that I talk about self-care. I talk about making the self a priority. Me first always. Me first always. You first always. I hope. So, and that's why I'm in New River. I'm here resting because I didn't want to be in, um, uh, in Los Angeles for that lame-ass celebration of the 4th of July where it's just a war zone of people blowing off gunpowder. I, I can't, I don't do well in that. I don't want PTSD. I don't want to be around that energy. So I came here I hope, to rest. I went to Sedona to do a, a couple of events, a house clearing, a grand opening. And I have a client tomorrow, a cancer client tomorrow that I'm going to see again. And he's waiting for me. He's excited that I'm coming and I can't wait to see him. And he's got, he's cancer free. Aho, aho. And I'm not saying that I did that for him, but I'm part of the process of his healing. He is part of the process of his healing. His family is a part of the process of his healing. Aho, aho. Make those around you who you love and you trust a process for your healing. So I found out that I may have Lyme's disease. 
Now, those of you who know me know that I go out and into the <laughs> into the canyons and the mountains and I sit in the chaparral and, you know, uh, I, I go out and gather sage and I do all those things in the wilderness on Mother Earth that there's some there's a price to pay for that. And one of those thing, things is, you know, potentially getting bitten by a tick. And um, I found out early this morning when I woke up by somebody that I'm starting to love very much that a palsy is a side effect or a symptom of excuse me, um, of uh, Lyme's disease, along with chills, along with fever, along with um, exhaustion, uh, fatigue. And I've had those things for quite some time and I've been really fatigued. In fact, when I got here to Sedona on Monday, I was just ex beyond exhausted. So the, the healing that I got yesterday really rejuvenated me and helped me to feel better. And then a salt bath and then this morning I was in the swimming pool. So. The palsy is a symptom of Lyme's disease. Now, is that a definite? No, I haven't had my blood tested yet, but next week I'm gonna have that tested when I get back to LA and we'll find out more. More will be revealed and I say, more is always revealed. Aho, aho. So, what is it that can make you sick? What is it that made me sick? It was a tick. It was a tick that possibly made me sick. And what I'm gonna ask you today is, what are the ticks that make you sick? What are the ticks that make you not feel good about yourself? What are the ticks that give you low self-esteem? What are the ticks that, that rock your foundation, that rock your world, that make you feel like you shouldn't be here in your foundation, in your root? Aho? What are the ticks that, 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 are, that happen in your, your second chakra of water, of your connection to others, your connection to self, that disconnect you from others, that rock your world and make you have low self-esteem in your third chakra, the place of fire, your place of the I am. Are you in your I am or are you trying to live up to somebody else is supposed to and somebody else is not is? <laughs> I, you know, people get insulted by some of the things I say, but I don't care because I spent a lot of time, I spent a lifetime reaching for the dangling carrot, the dangling carrot of the spoken and of spoken unspoken expectations of others, of parents, of grandparents, of family, of teachers, of how I was supposed to and how I had to and how I should and how are this and how are that. You know, they used to call me something. My mother um, was, used to call me mal criado. Mal criado means poorly created in Spanish. It's poorly created, mal criado. And I, as an adult, I say, and when they call me that, I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't raise me. I can't take responsibility for the child that I was, but I can take responsibility for the adult. And if you're an adult calling a child and it's your child, mal criado, poorly created, there's something wrong with you, not something wrong with that child. What is it in you that you don't like? What is it in you that you don't love? What are the ticks that brought you to that point? The ticks in your life, aho, that have been biting at you, that have been eating at you, aho, aho. So, what are the ticks in your life that, that uh, allow you or keep you drinking that alcohol every time you say you want to stop? That keep you smoking or hitting a vape pipe when you say you want to stop? And you say you love yourself, but you still do that. Remember, when you smoke pot, when you smoke cigarettes, when you smoke vape, that goes into the fifth chakra where you're not speaking your authenticity and your truth. I hope you're not saying what you want. You're not saying what you need. And you're taking that right in, into the heart space, heart, lungs, air, I love, I'm loved. Why would you give yourself that when you want love? Why would you give yourself that when you give yourself nurturance? I gave myself that. I, I didn't know how to, and now I know how to. That's why I log on and I sing. That's why I log on and I pray. That's why I log on and I ask you those questions that irritate the fuck out of you. Because <laughs> I had to ask myself those hard questions. I had to spend time crying. In fact, earlier, a few minutes ago, I was in the pool praying and I was crying. I was crying for gratitude. I was crying for, for the child. I was crying for the man. I was crying for the relationship I haven't had in a lifetime that was mother, that is mother. A whole, that can be wife, that can be partner, that can be friend, that can be lover. All those things. All those things. So what are the ticks in your life that you carry around as wounds? What are the, uh, the ticks in your life that you carry around as um, trophies of drama? 
that you that you continually perpetuate into your life and to the lives of others those poisons those toxic poisons what are they you know what they are but you do nothing about them i can help you do something about them i can help you recall i can help you relive i can help you rebirth and i can help you be like I've helped myself, like I helped many. I'm so blessed now. I'm so thankful for getting sick, for getting ill, because I get to look at it. I get to look at the problem and overlooking the problem and staring at the problem for too long creates paralysis through analysis. And I have to look towards the solution. What is it in my life that I'm avoiding and not spending time being with? And I ask you the same question. Oishino. Oishino, Oishino, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Oh, shit. We're not done. Hey, thank you, great spirit. Hey, thank you, brothers and sisters. Owa, 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 a. I am joy. I am love. I am spirit. And I am light as you are. Aho. Find that joy in yourself. Find the love for yourself. Find the spirit within you and around you. And be the light that you are and you have always been. Aho shina se ho! Woo! Oh my God. You know, I've had, I'm having a reawakening. Just like I, when I'm birthing the drums. It's not birthing the drum, it's rebirthing the elements into higher vibration, into vibration. It's not just making a drum. It's just not making the man. It's, it's, it's bringing the child and the man together, a whole, and being in the duality of my divine feminine and my divine masculine and my divine presence of alignment and being she, man, shah, man, as I have always been, walking crow, a whole shinawana, hey. And you can too. You can't be walking crow, but you can be who you are, who you are always meant to be. And this is what I walked the earth for. This is what I was brought here for, to do this work and to help you say yes to you. Now, after a lifetime of no's, after lifetimes of no's, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. So, uh, you know, it's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. And I ask that, you know, take time. You can hear the chimes in the background. It's been breezy here all morning. And I always say, O oh, Oyato. I sing, O oh, Oyato, O oh, Oyato. Listen, listen, listen to the wind. Listen to her still small voice. Listen to, 
as she speaks to you through the trees. Listen as she speaks to your heart. What does her quiet voice say to your heart? Are you tired of hurting? Are you tired of the anger and you don't know why you're angry? Are you tired of not being able to live up to the unspoken expectations that are solely your own? Solely your own. Do you feel like a failure? Have you feel like you've failed? I haven't failed. Regardless, if you look at my life and look at the things that I was able to do and not able to do, successfully or unsuccessfully, I am always a success. I live in my light. I live in my joy. I live in my love. And I live in the spirit of who and what I have always been. And that's all that matters. I don't have a fancy car. In fact, I don't even have a car. I don't have a home. I don't have a lot of things that a lot of you spend a lot of time chasing. I don't have to chase. I don't want to chase. I just want to be and be able to bring light into a room when I walk in. Aho. Aho. I want to be able to help you go from darkness to light. Alchemy. Cool medicine. Darkness to light. Gu turu. Guru. Guru. Darkness to light. Darkness to light. And I ask again, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Aho shinawa. A walking crow for the transformational sacred drum medicine. Asking you to go within. Search within. There's nothing out there. Mulder was wrong. <laughs> Mulder and Scully were wrong. It's not out there. It's in here. And are you ready? And are you brave enough? And are you willing enough to go inside and say, I need help. I need my child. I need the man. I need the woman. I want a home. Walking Crow for the transformational sacred drum medicine, asking you to have a blessed, 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 beautiful day.